total pledge of a thousand. Working with Haitian police, the Kenyan officers are working towards taking back key sites that have fallen under the control of gangs, including the airport and seaports. But almost three months into the mission, the security situation has little improved. so the Jamaica and the Kenyan police together with the Haitian police have analyzed 20 gang members in a town known as Porcel 14 kilometers from Port-au-Prince. This operation comes after the unleaving of 70 people and the displacement of 6,200 people by the gang members. Anyway, let me introduce myself before we get into this video. My name is Angaya from Kenya, East Africa. For the new viewers, please consider subscribing, liking, commenting, and sharing. I appreciate it so much for the returning viewers. Thank you so much for always coming back. So let's get into this video. So my people, in this video, previous videos recorded in Haiti will be used as a reference point as we talk about how the Jamaican and Kenyan forces are alive 20 gang members in Haiti alongside their Haitian counterparts. So let's get into it. So fresh details have emerged on the kind of weapons and electronic gadgets that were recovered from a criminal gang during an operation staged by multi-agency teams and the Haitian counterparts in Tossel port prince At least 20 Haitian gang members were unalived on Sunday and Monday during a security operation carried out by the Haitian op or police jointly with the multinational security support mission officers. This led to the recovery of an assortment of weapons officials said. Kenya leads MSS mission, which is supposed to have 2,900 personnel. The operation was staged in Tossel, a town located 14 kilometers from Port-au-Prince, Haiti's capital. Tossel is known to be the stronghold of Krasé Barrier, one of the most stubborn gangs in Haiti. Officials said the operation was aimed at tracking down armed gangs throughout the national territory and dismantling the Krasé Barrier gang. It was during the operation that the officers shot dead at least 20 gang members. Officials said during the clash, the team also brutally injured the second leader of the crazy barrier gang, the Shome. Several items including firearms, ammunition, mobile phones, sensitive materials and equipment were seized during the operation. The team said they recovered 15 handguns, 2 tablets, 2 mobile phones, 28 handheld communication radios, two Motorola communication radios, property of PNH, and two surveillance cameras. The team has at the same time vowed to liberate more regions and enable the reopening of schools. This was after a number of schools reopened in parts of Delmas on the outskirts of Port-au-Prince. The area was in the grip of criminal gangs who had crippled operations. This is an area of Delmas that was dominated by barbecue and has been pacified now, officials said. The Kenyan and the Jamaican forces in charge of the multinational security support community engagement visited some of the schools and interacted with pupils during the hoisting of the Haitian national flag to mark the start of the 2024-2025 academic year. Head of the operation, Jeffrey Otunge, said this activity will be duplicated across several other schools and is part of a traditional community police Edipol PCA program aimed at academic motivation to give sense of citizenship and patriotism among young school children. He said we will move to other areas to ensure schools operate. Officials said the October 12th and 14th operation was met with the resistance, but the authorities managed to drive away the gangs. According to one of the officials, our brave police officers have carried out penetrations into strategic areas used by criminals for some time to commit crimes. As part of the fight to track down armed gangs throughout the national territory, the Asian National Police continues its operations 
and interventions in several areas of the country. However, despite defeating the gangs, an armored vehicle ferrying the Kenyan officers experienced engine failure and could not be restarted despite interventions of technicians who were on site. According to one of the officials, the PNH remained mobilized in the continuation of these said operations in order to neutralize the leader of the gang and terrorist Vitel Home, Innocent and his acolytes. Another statement by the MSS team confirmed the same. It is against this backdrop that MSS is sending a strong warning to Kim gang leaders to stop the barbarous act of rapes, extension, kidnapping, blackmail and killings. We wish to call out other gang members, especially the Treze Barrier gang led by most wanted criminal Vital Home Innocent to stop committing atrocities against innocent Haitians whose only wish and prayer is to live peacefully. Another official continued, we therefore call upon all Haitians to rally behind and continue supporting MSS joint operations that have borne fruits. The official said operations and patrols saw several gang members arrested with others escaping with life-threatening injuries. The developments come against the backdrop of Haitian Prime Minister Gary Cornell's visit to Kenya during his visit to the country. Cornell commended the Kenyan police and the Jamaican police for their immense efforts in restoring serenity in the Caribbean nation. He, alongside President William Ruto at status in Nairobi, rallied the international community to do more to help Kenya restore peace in Haiti. So guys, from the videos you can tell that the Kenyan, Jamaican and Haitian police officers are working so hard to ensure that gang members across all urban areas in Haiti are done away with so that people can go back to their businesses, children can go back to school. And to me, that's a commendable thing to do, you know. <laughs> I don't know what you think, you can tell me in the comment section. I'll be so happy to read and understand, like, what is your perspective regarding this new move whereby the Jamaican, Kenyan and Haitian forces are gravitating towards ensuring that all gang members across all urban areas in Haiti are exterminated to ensure that the Haitian government functions properly and ensures that there's peace in Haiti. So you can tell me and we'll have more discussion anyway. Up to this end, I'm Angaya from Kenya, East Africa. Ensure to subscribe, like, comment and share. I'll appreciate so much. So see you in the next video. Bye bye. Billions. The gangs arrived and killed people. There were a lot of victims. The gang members reportedly set fire to at least 45 houses and 34 vehicles, forcing residents to flee their homes. I have control of the situation at the moment. However, I caution people of the possibility of another attack. The police are in place and they told me they are ready to respond to another attack. Since the killing of Haitian President Jovenel Moïse in 2021, Haiti has been in chaos 